What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It is your fearless shift leader. Y'all, I said I was gonna stop doing the up close to the camera. Cause every time I put the camera close to my face and I go back to edit the video, I be having a, 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 a boogie in the bat cave. <laughs> I be having stuff in the, in the corner of my mouth. My hands are extremely ashy right now. <laughs> y'all, it's just a lot going on in my life, baby. <laughs> life is life and baby. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. I just didn't have no, I washed my hands and I ain't had no lotion. <laughs> but I do be having boogers in my nose and y'all don't be telling me. And I'm I'm starting to feel like y'all being disrespectful. <laughs> but y'all, we are back at the Oakland Cemetery here in Atlanta, Georgia. This is where we come to visit our nanas at. Uh it's been closed for a little while. They've been doing some renovations, but I I feel like I haven't taken y'all through some parts of here. So as we walk to the Nana's, <laughs> I'm going to show y'all around and let y'all see some of the architecture of the Oakland Cemetery, which I think is probably one of the most beautiful cemeteries in Atlanta. All right, check this out. Look how beautiful these stones are. This is the Keeley family. 1846 to 1897, 1877 to 1930. Y'all, I did not realize that the funeral business, they be out here making a killing. No, nah, but for real, they do. <laughs> like they do. So my aunt, we're laying her to rest uh, this weekend, but we're going to put her in the same resting community that my grandmother is in, her mother, and one of my other aunts, her sister. But it is just wild that for them to move her like really close to my grandmother, it's an extra $7,500. <laughs> But if you want to put her, you know, like in the back of the cemetery, like in the back area of the cemetery, it ain't the, it ain't the extra seventy five hundred, which is crazy. And my mom was like, how do you feel? I was like, man, you know, my feelings are probably a little bit different because doing the graveyard shift, <laughs> you know, I feel like we can contact these spirits from any which away, any which aware. <laughs> so. Even if my grandmother is, say, closer to the freeway and my aunt is, you know, closer to the back. I mean, I feel like it's really only an inconvenience for the person who's visiting. So then it's just like, all right, like, <laughs> who are we doing it for then? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. What y'all think? What do y'all think? Y'all my extended family. Y'all my cousins. <laughs> what y'all think about that? Is it worth? And I guess worth is relative, right? So whatever seventy five hundred dollars is to you, because <laughs> I know for me, seventy five hundred dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> Some people seventy five hundred dollars might not be nothing. They like what? That's it? Give me three. But for right now, <laughs> for your boy, <laughs> your fearless shift leader, <laughs> you bless me with seventy five hundred dollars. I'm gonna ask you what I gotta do for it. <laughs> what I gotta do for this? <laughs> Y'all leave me alone. I love y'all. I love y'all. Look. But yeah, how do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel like the funeral industry is a big money grab? A huge money grab. Look at these mausoleums. Uh, these are like million dollar mausoleums. You over here, uh, I'm over here in nickel and diamond. Nickel and diamond for 7500 Look, how much you think this costs? I'm going to be... Ooh, that should be a show. The real estate agent behind funeral mausoleums. Ooh. Oh, oh y'all, this man just walked up. That scared the mess out of me. That mean I ain't supposed to be doing what I'm doing. Y'all see in there?
Oh, wow. To all those resting, I hope you're resting well and peaceful. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It feel comfortable in there. <laughs> it feels like a, a medieval castle. That's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. But yeah. A real estate. <laughs> I'm gonna be the real estate. You gotta come through me. Look, don't no mausoleums get built on the southeast coast <laughs> without coming through Big D, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna put a monopoly on these mausoleums being built. You buy them through Big D, or you go. <laughs> let me. I need a slogan. What's our slogan? What's our slogan? I give you the best deal in town. <laughs> You want your mausoleum or you want to be put in the ground, baby? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Y'all, I blame y'all because y'all encourage my foolishness. Y'all encourage it. You encourage it. <laughs> Alma, <laughs> you encourage me. Spider Queen, I blame you. Brentwood. Look me in my face when I tell you. You on thin ice. Encouraging my foolery. Wow. Here we have Mary Jane Elizabeth. Mary Jane Elizabeth. Born September 24th, 1837. Died March 11, 1908. Then you have Jet Rucker. Born in 1823. Passed away in 1900. Jet Rucker. That is actually a really cool name. Starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. We have Jet Rucker. Yeah, Jet, Jet, Jet was, a, was a very strong contender for the Heisman Trophy last year. Came out real strong. Drafted number three. <laughs> my boy Jet Jet I hope you're resting well with the family man you and Mary Jane oh wow look at this trying to get the camera to focus there we go there we go With the camera to adjust to the background. Let me see. Damn. Can't get the good. Can't get the good zoom. I'm gonna probably cut this off though. Cut this out. My ashy head. Y'all, I'm trying to get the zoom in so y'all can see. My hands is ashy. Y'all, ain't it funny my lines say hi? <laughs> hi. <laughs> hey, man, my hands are ashy, y'all. My hands are ashy. Forgive me. <sighs> it is a beautiful day out here in Atlanta. Beautiful, beautiful day. The rabbits are out. The sun is out. This is like one of them days, perfect six, six flags weather. 
This is perfect six wag, six flags weather. You don't mind waiting in the line for a roller coaster in this type of weather. So they're doing a lot of work. Here, let's go look at this mausoleum. They're doing a lot of work here at the Oakland Cemetery. That's why I love coming here. Like they really treat this place like it's, you know, art. <laughs> it's history and they treat it as such. So you see the way, you know, resting communities like this get handled. And then you've also seen the way resting communities that we found lost in the woods get handled. And it's just like, you gotta just find what's best for your personality. Look at this, this is like a mini house. This is the Grant family mausoleum. William David Grant. This is like a throne. You have Sarah Francis Grant. These people passed away, or they were born in 1837 and 1839. Oh wow, there's more family members. On this wall, 1902. Yeah. It's like there's so much character. If you're ever in it, if you're ever in Atlanta. If you're ever in Atlanta, come out to the Oakland Cemetery. Look at this. And take take in the history and the sights. It's literally like one big park. Look at the Gray family mausoleum. Look at the Gray family house. <laughs> Would y'all want one of these for your family members? It looked like you could fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 10 people in here. What do you think? Would y'all want something like this for 10 of you, 10 of, of you and 10 of your family members, nine of your family members? Because if you do, I got a really, really good deal for you going. We got the 10 unit models. We got the five unit models. If you're a loner like me, you only like a couple people, we can do the duplex. Let me know in the comment section. Your boy Dalen got you. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm going to pitch that show to Travel Channel. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at this. Edwin W. Marsh Jr. An affectionate commemoration, February 20th. I don't know what year that is, y'all. I know y'all was like, ooh, you knew XX. You add one more and I sure did. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I hope that went over some of y'all's head. Then you have Mary Marsh Crankshaw in love ridden memory from her father, mother, and husband on her 26th birthday, August 11th, 1895. This is beautiful. They built this in 1890, y'all. I wonder what agency, what real estate agency they went through. Like this is wild. Wow. The Marshes, Adelaide, E.W., and Mary Marsh. Hope y'all are resting well. This is super cool. Mm, mm, mm. So, next week, next week, we're back in action. I'm hitting the road. Famous stories, celebrities, family members. We getting the year rolling now, y'all. We getting the year rolling now.
So please be expecting way more content. I really appreciate the love and the journey that y'all are accompanying me on. It means the world to me. Let's go check on our nanos, y'all. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? We are here sitting at Boom with our nanas. Boom. The residents of the Eventide Old Ladies Home. I usually have the camera face the other way where I can't see the screen. But now I can see the screen because I have it faced front facing. <laughs> so it's just kind of cool because I can see behind me now. So I ain't got to be. I can actually see in real time what's going on. But yeah, we haven't been here with our nanas in a minute. You got Miss Kate, Miss Coleman. Yeah. We got Miss Neil. Miss Partridge. Miss Divine. Ladies, we tried to come visit you last week, but you see clearly they're doing renovations over here. Y'all can see they're doing it right in front of them. <laughs> they fixing up the pathway, the walkway. But we are fresh off Valentine's Day, you know, maybe a couple weeks. So we are addressing the idea of spirits needing love too. It's like our second unofficial slogan. Spirits need love too. <laughs> but no. I just would like to know how y'all are resting, how you're doing. And I'm curious if shows up. Let's see if he's the first person to show up. You know, this is his favorite little spot. So all the spirits that are resting here, my name is Daylin. I come in peace, love, and respect coming in here to visit the nanas if there's anyone here that would like to speak to me can you please let me know is there anyone here that would like to speak to me I thought I heard a grandmother. They're trying. Who's trying to get in contact with me? Oh, wow. All these trucks. It's a lot of traffic going by on the outside wall. See, if you look over here, there's the the back wall of this wrestling community, and over there are businesses and a community. You know what I mean? So people are driving up and through that street often. Now I apologize, I couldn't hear you. Is there someone here that would like to speak to me? <laughs> Can you tell me your name? Can I speak to one of the nanos? Sure. sure. Which nana was, am I speaking with? Well, can you tell me your last name that's on your stone? <laughs> okay, we have Ms. Thomas, Ms. Coleman, Ms. Neal, Ms. Devine, Ms. Partridge. Yeah. 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 
Okay. So, ladies, I have a question about love. What advice do you have about love? You live at a time You ladies lived at a time When none of us were around Like you passed away in 1920 1918 1917 Like times were different back then I'm sure you guys had a love Someone you love dearly Or fell in love with Or maybe spent your life with Or spent time with And I'm just curious Do you have any advice About love? Have either one of you ladies ever been in love before? Miss Kate, do you remember your first love? What do you remember most about the man you fell in love with? Miss Kate, have you seen him since you've been on the other side? Mike. Mike. Well, no way. What about you, Miss Coleman? Were you ever in love? Incredibly. What do you remember most about being in love? What do you think makes for a strong relationship? Miss <laughs> Neil, you were born in 1848. <laughs> Do you remember your first love? Can you tell me the name of the person you first fell in love with? You say I like several people? <laughs> you sound just playing with you. <laughs> hey, listen, I ain't judging, baby. <laughs> okay, who's next? Miss Divine. Miss Divine, what is up? Miss Divine. Do you remember your first love? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> So, Mr. Vile, what happened to you all in the relationship? 
Okay, yeah, time was up. Can you just we do you ever wonder how it would have been if you would have stayed with that person? Well, Mr. Bond, do you have any advice for people that are in love now? No. Sit down. Dang. Mr. Fine, do you feel like you lost the one you're supposed to be with? No, right. Okay. You know what? Miss Partridge, how you feeling, love? Well. So tell, tell me about your love life, girl. I haven't had any years. <laughs> Do you remember your first love? <laughs> what happened to y'all's relationship? <laughs> Did you want to stay? He wanted you to stay? But what did you want? So do any of you ladies have any regrets about your phone? Uh, yeah. your phone? Yes. <laughs> what regrets do you have? <laughs> I think I keep hearing something about this. So let me ask you this. Can you find love? Can you find love on the other side? So, do spirits need love too? Can you, can you feel the love from the living? Can you meet new people on the other side? That is funny. So, ladies, let me ask you this. Can you give me any advice? All those. That's interesting. Everybody remembers their first love. Do y'all remember y'all's first love? Y'all, I'm going to tell you the story. I'm going to get up out of here. I ain't going to say no names. I don't want no, nothing to get back to nobody. But let me tell you how funny life works. My very first love. I only got one true love, baby. That's Stacy. I love you, girl. Baby, this ain't nobody. This ain't nothing outside. Nothing. There ain't nobody got nothing to do with you, baby. <laughs> you the one that made it, baby. <laughs> so I love you. <laughs> I love you. Go ahead and say, Stacey, put the other half of the heart up, girl. <laughs> Y'all don't be taking my baby heart. This is for me and my baby. <laughs> but no. Nah. 
I used to date this girl in high school, y'all. I man, listen, I was head over heels for this girl in high school. This girl broke my heart three times. <laughs> my heart has only ever been broken three times, and this one girl was responsible for it in high school, <laughs> after high school, and in the beginning of college. Broke it down. Y'all, and our last time we broke up, that was right when Usher's You Got It Bad came on, came out. Y'all, I couldn't eat or sleep. Every time I cut the radio, it was, you got it, you got it bad. When you look in, and you turn right back. Y'all, I was heartbroken. But let me tell you what happened. I was dating her. And I brought her to church, my mother's church, my mother's church. And uh, that was it. She'd been there before, blah, blah, blah. My family knew her, family loved her. We had dated for a year, all of that. So one day I come back home and I go to my mom's church. She has a guest pastor at the church. It's a siren going off. The guest pastor is like pointing at people let me let that go off. All right. So the guest pastor is in the pulpit and he's pointing at people and he's like prophesizing, prophesying, prophesying. He was prophes he was spitting prophecies like hot fire from the pulpit to people, right? So he having he was like, ma'am, you stand up. God says X, Y, and Z. Sir, you stand up. God wants me to tell you X, Y, and Z. And then he points to me at the back of the church. Young man, you stand up. I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> he was like, you, you, you stand up. My mom was like, that's my son. He was like, I don't care who it is. God has a word for this young brother. Young brother, please come up to the pulpit. I was like, what? I I walk up there. He was like, and God says, uh, God says there is a woman in your life. Uh, and I'm thinking, yeah, my baby. He was like, God says uh, he has a woman for you. Uh -huh. He has a wife for you. Uh -huh. He has a, a mother of your child already in place for you. And I was like, yeah, man, my girl. And he was like, and God says the woman you are with right now is not her. I said, Pastor, I'll fight you. <laughs> I'll fight you, Pastor. <laughs> Hold me back, Mama. I'll fight you, Pastor. <laughs> nah, I ain't trying to fight the Pastor, but I did give him the look like, Sir, you was on a roll at first. Now you're just freestyling. Because <laughs> I know my God ain't say that. Man, this man said, Look me in the face. I can almost call the woman's name that you are with. God said, Get her out of your life immediately. Because she will lead to destruction. I was like, sir, those are fighting words, Pastor. I just warned you. <laughs> See, we was like, his exact words were, get her out of your life immediately. She will lead you to destruction. Y'all, I promise you. I leave there. I go to her house. I don't even tell her what's going on. We get into a little, like, you know, like a little argument, like, Where'd you put the TV flipper? I didn't hide the TV flipper. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. You know, one of the little kitty arguments, man. And we end up breaking up. The next day, she calls me out the blue and is like, Dalen, don't ever talk to me again. And y'all, I never heard from her ever again. We were together like three years up until that point. Like talking every day, all of that. I went to church. The pastor gave me that message. A day or two later, we fight about the remote control, and she calls me and tells me to never talk to her again. And I never talked to her again in life. Y'all, this was like 21, 22 years old. I just might have bumped into her at 35. <laughs> you feel me? I'm talking about talking from high school all the way to like 22. Anyway, I couldn't understand what that meant. But I realized years later, as life progressed and I moved on to start doing my thing, what destruction meant from that pastor. 
Because had I stayed with that girl, I wouldn't have stayed in Atlanta. I wouldn't have pursued my dreams. I wouldn't have traveled the way I did. I would want to have stayed up under that girl in Dallas just being with her. And to me, not following my dreams would have been destruction. There would have been no ghost brothers. I wouldn't have been into the paranormal. Like everything I did in life led me down the path that led me here today of being your fearless shift leader. But I know that had I stayed with her in that relationship, and it wasn't even a bad relationship. It wasn't toxic or anything. That's why I felt like that pastor's message was so out the blue. Like We didn't have any issues. My family loved her. But God knew that I would have probably put her above everything back then throughout my life, which wouldn't allow me to blossom into the person I am today. And I wouldn't have met my baby Stacy, y'all. And listen, that could not have happened. So, yeah. I don't know why I just told y'all that story. <laughs> but, uh, oh. Yeah, I guess just talking about my first love and being hurt by this. See, this is like therapy, y'all. <laughs> Let me get on about here before Stacey see this video. I got to go home, y'all. She, oh, so who was your first love? Mm -hmm. Three times daily? Really? Three times? She broke your heart three times? Well, how many times have I broke your heart? <laughs> how many times have I broke your heart? She broke it three, I'm going to break it four. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Stacey don't sound like that, y'all. <laughs> I'm just being funny. But y'all, uh, I'm going to get up out of here. Ladies, ladies, I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. They doing work. They doing work over here, y'all. So we got to get out. We got to get about the flow. They've been watching me talk to the camera in the cemetery since I've been sitting here. And I just kept it going. Oh, yeah. Y'all, while I have your attention, before I leave, please take the time to check out my other YouTube page, my Bites with Daylin and my Ghost of the Roasted page. New videos are up. If you haven't seen the old ones, please watch them. Let's get those views up. And while I have you here, let's check out some more t-shirt design submissions. Check these out and tell me what you think. Love, love, love. See you tomorrow.